TBMs are large and complex machines often used to bore tunnels underground. These machines, often huge in size, include rotating cutter heads and conveying systems used to dig tunnels. Underground? The size and complexity of this machine allows it to work much faster and more efficiently than tunneling, which is usually done by human power. Additionally, the use of TBMs increases safety in underground tunneling and causes less damage to the environment. In addition to tunneling its capabilities may also include various technological features used to stabilize tunnel walls. Additionally, some TBMs may have additional functions such as laying pipes or cables inside the tunnel. Tunneling is among the most challenging tasks in the construction industry. When dealing with the mechanical drive of tunnel boring machines, it is vital to become intimately familiar with the various methods and to properly assess the geology. Marty operates six of its own tunnel boring machines diameters from 3.80 to 12.60 meters, and the associated special equipment required for their maintenance and repair well-trained engineers. With extensive experience with dispatch teams, can expertly and efficiently execute tunnel projects of any size. Railway construction involves building and maintaining railway tracks and infrastructure such as bridges, tunnels, stations, it typically involves surveying the land, designing the railway, and coordinating the construction and installation of track signals and other equipment. The construction process may also involve obtaining necessary permits and approvals, as well as working with local communities and organizations. Information about railway construction can be found in various sources, including government publications, industry associations, and technical the Briner Base Tunnel.
is a railway tunnel under construction in the Alps between Innbruck in Austria and Forteza in Italy. It is being built as part of the rail and FRE Quarter 5 RFC 5, which is a project to improve rail connections between Northern and Southern Europe. The tunnel is approximately 64 kilometers 40 miles long and will be the longest underground railway tunnel in the world. Upon completion, the tunnel is being built using a combination of traditional tunnel boring machines, TBMs and drilling and blasting methods. The tunnel will have two single track tubes each with a diameter of 8.8 .8 meters 29 feet. The tunnel will be deep enough to pass beneath the main alpine ridge, allowing trains to avoid the steep grades and winding routes of the existing rail line over the Brainer Pass. Steep icy mountains and deep fjords make Western Norway famously scenic, but they also make life difficult for motorists with seven ferries along the way. The almost 700 mile trip between the cities of Christensen in the south and Tron in the north typically runs about 21 hours. But that could soon change a $40 billion infrastructure project being planned by the Norwegian government aims to replace the ferries with bridges conventional tunnels. And what could be the world's first floating, the submerged roadway, essentially a pair of concrete tubes submerged about 100 feet below the water surface, would help cut the Christensen Tron travel time. in half while minimizing the environmental impact on the area. Is a tunnel on the Corinth Patra section of the Olympia OS Motor M Way. The name comes from the name sick area of Mupanagopolis. It consists of two separate sections, one which has a length of 48 meters used by vehicles traveling from Patras to Athens, and one which has a length of 3,182 meters Sampanagola, two used by vehicles traveling from the opposite direction from Athens to Patras. Works began in 2008 along with the whole motorway, but they were halted in 2011. They were again resumed in early 2014. 